Hi, it's Mark from Training Spark. And in this video, we're going to show you how you can create custom roles in LearnDash. So you may be familiar with the existing roles in in WordPress. So if you head to users, all users, and just drop down this menu here, you will see all of the different role types that come with WordPress. And some of them are added via plugins as well. So by default, WordPress has administrator, editor, author, contributor, and subscriber. And each of these roles, you know, give you different privileges on the site. Subscriber tends to be the one that a normal registered user would have with very limited privileges. And administrator is your full admin account that can do everything. Some plugins will add their own. Uh, so for example, WooCommerce sometimes adds things like marketer and sales manager and sales representative. And LearnDash adds this one called group leader. And that is the leader of LearnDash groups. What we're going to do in this video is show you how you can create custom roles with different permissions to be able to do certain things. And as an example, what I'm going to do is create a course manager role or course creator role, I'll call it. And that is a person who can only create and manage LearnDash courses, but they won't have access to anything else. So we're going to use a plugin to do this. So we'll head to plugins and then add new plugin. And we're going to search for a plugin called user role editor. And as you can see, it's here uh, and it's a very popular plugin with 700,000 active installations at the time of recording. It's regularly updated and it's got pretty good reviews here. So I'm just going to install that. And then activate it. And once it's activated, what we'll find under the users menu here is that there's a new one called user role editor. And if we click into this, we'll see the options for this. Now, the interface looks fairly overwhelming to start with, but it's actually fairly simple. Uh, one thing I'll just tick here is that you can show these capabilities in human readable form. Essentially, what you do is you have your list of different roles here and you just tick what things they are allowed to do. Now, WordPress has lots of different things called capabilities. And these are things like, can this user activate plugins? No. Can they add activities? No. So what you will find is that subscribers have very limited items here ticked. You know, they've got read basically, which means that they can read posts, uh, but not a huge amount else. Whereas if you came to a, a, a role that has more options, you know, perhaps an editor, uh, you'll find that they actually can do a fair bit more. You know, they can do things like delete others' posts, delete posts. Uh, there's a few more things here in the core, like, you know, see other edit pages and manage users and things like that. You'll notice here that there's um, options to add role and rename roles here. You can also delete roles. So if you find that you've got roles that you don't want, for example, this marketer role that... Um, you know, WooCommerce tends to add, you can delete roles here um, and you know, just find them here and then just delete the role. And then that is no longer in there. And you know, I can do that for sales manager if I want to, you just delete that one too. And you can also delete the sales representative role. You'll notice it, it doesn't give the option to delete any core role uh, roles like subscriber, contributor, editor. Um, but you could technically delete group leader. I wouldn't advise it, but you could do that um, if you wanted to. What we're going to do is create a new role. We're going to go to add role and you give it a role ID. And the sort of naming convention for these is all lowercase with underscores for spaces. So I'm just going to call this course underscore creator. And then this is the role name. So I'll just call it course creator and it's possibly easier to start from an existing role like subscriber so what you do is you're making a copy of an existing one and adapting it rather than completely starting from scratch 
subscribe as your sort of basic registered user. So I'm just going to start with that and then click on add role. So it says role course creator is created successfully. So let's have a look at what we want them to be able to do. So these, there's 287 different capabilities here um, and they're broken down into these different sections here. So in general, we want them to be able to read posts, you know, that's fairly standard, but we don't want to do a lot of things. We don't want to see, do things like editing the dashboard, exporting or importing, changing languages or anything like that. But as a course creator, what they might want to do is upload files or images to put into their courses. So what I'm going to do is tick the upload files privilege here. Most of these other ones we can ignore. We don't want them to edit themes, even posts and pages. I don't really want them to see that either. We definitely don't want them installing plugins. I don't want them to even see other users in the platform. So I'm going to leave that one unticked as well. But here are the elements for LearnDash that we actually do want them to be able to do. Things like deleting courses, deleting other courses, editing courses and creating new courses. So I'm just going to tick all of these and have those on. Now, strangely, these are split up into different things like lessons, topics, but the course is the main privilege. So what you'll find is that these all end up being ticked by default. And you know, if you do want them to be able to do things like certificates and groups and things like that, then you can add them as well. But I'm just going to stick to the main Learn Dash custom post types here uh, and not give them anything else. So you'll find here that there's other things that other plugins add. Um, so I'm just going to leave those as they are. Then I'm going to click update. It says, please confirm. So I'm going to click yes. And now we've created our new role. So all this user can do is you know, manage learn dash content basically and upload files so let's give this role a test what i'm going to do is head to all users and i have a user in here uh, this john smith who is just a basic subscriber at the moment what i'm going to do is switch them to a course creator role and see what they can do so you can do this just by ticking here and then you can say change role to and then we've got our course creator option here. And notice that all the other ones that were, were deleted there are gone. So I'm just going to choose course creator here and then click change. And now John Smith is a course creator. Now you can either log in as this person and test it here. I've got a plugin called, um, I think it's called user switching plugin that allows us to switch and view as other users. So I'm just going to click that here. And that has now switched me to this user. And I can see that my admin dashboard is fairly basic here. Um, I, you know, I don't have anything around users or posts or pages. All I have is the ability to manage LearnDash's own content. So I can do things like create courses, lessons and topics and quizzes and questions. I can even edit other people's. Uh, you know, that was one of the permissions you know, that um, allows you to edit others' courses. Um, and I can go in and you know either you know, add new ones or edit an existing one. And likewise, because I chose upload media, I have the option to be able to add new media files here as well to the to the media library. So let's just have a quick look and just make sure we can do everything we want to. I'm just going to you know create a new lesson here. Uh, so yeah, this is. I'm just going to click publish and now that has saved so we can create our own lessons and assign them to courses. So it's a useful feature if you really want to tailor the interface and create custom roles and be able to have good control over what they can and can't do. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a like. And if you'd like to see more like this, please subscribe to the Training Spark YouTube channel.